Nine out of ten Palestinians in Gaza are eating less than one meal a day. Amid diminishing supplies of food and clean water, according to the World Food Program's new statement on humanitarian crisis in the war-torn territory. Israel's bombardment of Gaza, both on the ground and by air, is posing major challenges for both humanitarian crews trying to deliver aid and for citizens searching for food in Gaza City, the World Food Program said Wednesday. People in Gaza City do not even have the freedom to search for food. Anyone who moves will be risking their lives, said journalist Hin Kodari. Neighbors have opened their doors to share whatever they have between them. According to a new food analysis by Gaza released by the WFP on Thursday, the agency found more than one in four households in Gaza face extreme hunger, with humanitarian officials warning of famine unless the conflict ends and the access to adequate food, clean water, health, and sanitation services are restored. The WFP said its staff members were told civilians are often going entire days without eating and many adults go hungry to allow their children to eat about 26 percent of gaza civilians about 576 600,000 of the total 2.2 million people 2.2 million person population has exhausted food supplies as more aid conveys struggle to enter the region as more more aid uh, convoy struggle to enter the region the wfp on wednesday said there is a serious bottleneck at the Rafa border crossing and that even once the supplies were able to come into the region, several frontline areas in Gaza are inaccessible for aid workers. WFP has warned of this coming catastrophe for weeks. Tragically, without the safe, consistent access we have been calling for, the situation is desperate and no one in Gaza is safe from starvation, said WFP's executive director, Cindy McCain. Meanwhile, the shortages of food and clean, drinkable water are also leading to increase sickness among civilians whose immunity systems have been compromised under such limited diets, the WFP said medicine and medical equipment also con continues to run low in the besieged territory, pushing hospitals and facilities to the brink of collapse. The World Health Organization's director general said Wednesday there are no longer any functioning hospitals in northern Gaza. After the area's last functional hospital sir, earlier this week, it is no longer able to perform surgery for the injured. Israel's war with Hamas, which, was, which has controlled Gaza since 2007, has raged on for more than two months since the militant group's October 7th attack on southern Israel, which left about 1,200 people dead. Nearly 20,000 people have died in Gaza since the onset of the conflict, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, per the Associated Press. You know, um, I used to do a lot of Yemen stories. I don't do them as much anymore because it just feels like I'm, I was screaming into a void. And I always talked about how it was insane to me to live like in the modern era with all these cell phones and different pieces of technology that we would have people who were being starved to, to death. Um, not because there's some worldwide food shortage, no, because some group of militants attacks the government or excuse me the the head of state's government and that head of state decides to get retaliation against that group that attacked them but also to a larger extent innocent people that's why even though hamas is a segment of people in gaza um conservative buffoons like michelle bachman will have no problem going on tv or any of these other outlets and pretending as if every single Palestinian is now affiliated with this group that has not had an election uh, since 2006, which for those who forgot is uh, 17 years ago. Uh, and I could talk about how the U.S. Should stop bootlicking for Israel. It should say, "Hey, you know what? We're a country that believes in democracy and human freedoms. What, what, what better way to show freedom than by allowing innocent people to have the the the, the privilege of eating, of not not starving to death, not having to uh, give their last to their child so that they you know they have a higher chance of surviving or continuing to live." And now they're out. Their hospitals are 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 just broken so if you if you get injured i guess you just have to stay that way
That's why I said I've 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 always been astonished how. Because I it's it's hard for me to believe like if you're if you're conservative, even if you're you know you don't want people to have higher wages, you don't want people to, I don't know, have medical insurance that's not tied to their job. Are you really okay with supporting politicians who want an entire segment of people, thousands of innocent people, to just die? Whether it's from starvation, whether it's from getting bombed or, or, or shot. Th this is not humane. And it's like Israel's government is, so, you know, it. I, I, I've said this before. I will never have a problem with Jewish people. I have never had a problem with Jewish people. I wanted a Jewish person to be president not even four short years ago with Bernie Sanders, um, whose, whose opinion on this conflict has also raised some eyebrows for me. But the Israeli government is one of the worst organizations, I don't even know what, what the way to describe it, that I've seen in, in all of my research into any type of just... Um, you know, investigation into history. I mean, you have a you have a government that is an apartheid state that when it when when it gets attacked by a group of people who are in the wrong, I don't support Hamas attacking innocent Israelis, that's been said over and over. But when it gets attacked by people who are in the wrong, it says, Okay, hold my beer, we'll we'll do something even worse and kills over ten thousand people. So, you know, uh, what a hundred uh 10 times as many people as Hamas killed on their side and no one really seems to care I mean we have we have a few lawmakers that call for a ceasefire but apparently even that is too extreme to just say hey let's just stop fighting so we can maybe get some more aid in there you can't even get them to do that and it, it drives me crazy that you can live in a world with all of these people on these smartphones, um, you know, they're talking about some stupid presidential election. It's not for another year. And then innocent human beings are being starved to death. For It's been two months. It might, it might be another two months sooner than later. It might be another year. And this isn't even talked about. No, like you, The only time any of these stupid politicians in the U.S. talk about Israel is, is either... How much money you're going to pay it or I stand with Israel. Why don't you stand with regular people? So in the comment section, if you want to call me anti-Semitic because I don't like uh, apartheid state governments that starve innocent people and, and kill innocent people as well uh, through, through bombings and shootings, uh, go ahead. I have never had a problem with Jewish people. I have always had a problem with garbage governments like the one in Saudi Arabia, like the one in Israel, that have the really unwarranted backing of the United States to continue their uh, terrorism across either their country or the globe. And that's really the only difference between the Israeli government and, pro you know, and, and really anywhere like, uh, actually, no, I, I take that back. It, it really is like the modern day South Africa. Back when South Africa was the apartheid state, that's what Israel is now. And I, I hope someday... And I know it will probably be in my lifetime that that government is is completely changed. It does it doesn't. Have, no one's talking about getting rid of Jewish people, but that they get rid of this toxic "I'm better than you" ideology that has existed since Netanyahu's been around, probably even longer. And hopefully, we can get some actual like empathy on the part of Americans to where they can stop saying, "Hey, let's go and kill a bunch of innocent people," and they actually feel something for the uh the human beings that are you know it's like imagine if if we we did something like that over here imagine you you, you oh you're hungry oh no you can't go out for food or, or else you want to die it's nuts and no one cares